Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 Wrecked is here and is massive. With it comes many new weapons, vehicles, and huge new sand biome. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the new season, and there's a lot. Make sure to watch until the end for an overpowered bonus tip for this season. Believe me, you'll want to see it. Let's check it out. So today we are going to be landing at a new location called the Nitro Drone. Now the reason I want to land here is it gives you a crazy new weapon that uh, is an explosive crossbow. It's a mythic and uh, it also gives you a medallion and this medallion gives you infinite ammo for all of your guns and then also gives you access to an overpowered vehicle that has well over a thousand health, deals a ton of damage if you hit players, and is souped up with a turret with a... Oops, got a player here. Souped up with a turret and some bulletproof tires, cow catcher, everything. So this season is crucial that you have a souped up vehicle to win. Because I don't think it's going to be very easy to get a win without having one of these amazing new vehicles. There's a few kills. Okay, so to defeat the boss here, it's a little unique. So as you can see, there's a little like chest icon up there. It's giving us a countdown until the boss is spawned. Now, if you go through these hoops, it goes even faster, as you see, minus five seconds. So here we go. Okay, now that we've survived the Nitro Drone, we can, it says collect your loot, so some loot has spawned around here. So I'm gonna take this Flowberry Fizz. Flowberry Fizz will be important for something I'm going to show you later on in this video. Here's another new item called the Nitro Fists. Now these are amazing and you need to be carrying them at this point in the season. They will definitely be nerfed in about a week probably. So get your fun in while you can because they deal a ton of damage and they are amazing mobility for you and if your teammates have some, your team. So if you don't have a car to get around, no worries. Grab some of these. There's even mythic versions that have four charges and you will be good to go. So here we are, defeating the boss. Uh -oh. So I've just activated Nitro 2, which boosts my speed, my running speed, and weapon reload time speed. Uh oh, here come all the NPCs now trying to kill me. So the combat shotgun has returned, but don't worry, it has mods. As you can see, we... Oh, it's bugged over here. So don't go over there, because it's a little bugged. Um, as you can see, we now have infinite ammo on all of our guns. So get that medallion. I'd say it's probably the best, because it gives you infinite ammo. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Here is the new Mythic Ringmaster's Boom Bolt. So as I explained earlier, it's an explosive crossbow that's pretty darn... Uh, pretty darn OP in my opinion um, but this season your guns are not nearly as important as your cars so with that being said I'm gonna head over here and unlock the gate for this beast right here this is a new vehicle if you use your boost it is, ex it is extremely fast and 
it has a thousand six hundred and fifteen health. It has infinite fuel due to the nitro, and it is just insane. Around the map, you'll find these little boxes. Hit them, and they give you different things. That one would have healed my car if it had needed healed. But obviously, my car was perfectly fine. It did not need that yet. Let's switch over to here. This is the new turrets. Vehicle turrets. Look at that. This is why you need to have a car with turrets on it this season. It is crucial. You need it, because especially if you're in duos or any other squad-based mode, you need this vehicle. It is super important to have, because it is so overpowered with the team. Keep going. Now, the combat AR has actually returned in the form of a mythic, and it is uh, moddable, like the combat uh, shotgun. There's in fact two different types of turrets as well. Forgot to mention that one. There is your normal machine gun turret and then you have your grenade launcher turrets. Now, I prefer the machine gun turrets, but both are very good at their own things. Now, you can only have one turret on a car, so you can't have two, but they are both good in their own ways. If you're trying to uh, destroy people's builds, I'd recommend you take the grenade launcher, but if you're just trying to go around spraying everyone, go ahead and take the machine gun. It, it's super amazing. Both of them are really awesome. This season so far is fantastic. I'm so excited to see what comes of it. I really love the apocalypse theme and everything about this season is just awesome. Now, this car actually heals on its own, too. Killed. Right there. FPS went down a bit, but, uh, there. Another kill. With the car. As I said, it has tons of damage to players. Killed. No. There. Let's repair the car through here. Awesome. Now, I am heading over to Classy Courts. Now, I would never go to Classy Courts until this season, as Oscar is actually back on the island. But instead of being in Lavish Lair, he is in Classy Courts. So that's where I'm going to be heading. He does, in fact, drop his Frenzy Auto Shotgun, his Mythic. It's still pretty darn powerful, like it was earlier in the earlier days of Chapter 5. So, I still recommend you duel him and try and pick it up if you can. So, you come over to him and you try to duel him. And when you do that, you're going to get shoved back and then just kill him from there. Like you would a normal boss. He has normal boss health and everything, so he's pretty he's pretty powerful, but uh, he's not the hardest boss in the world to defeat. So there we go. Fairly easy kill. Now we have Oscar's Frenzy Auto Shotgun. Cerberus's shotgun is still also over in Grimgate, so if you want to go pick that up, I highly recommend it as well. Um... But you can also find the combat, Mythic Combat Shotgun, if you want. And it will be with Megalodon. That's the name of the character. So, they spawn randomly on the map. The only character, the only boss 
that spawns at the same place every time is the Nitro Drome girl. The I forget her name, but um, that's another reason to land Nitro Drome because you will get the a guaranteed spawn of her and everything there. Now these do spray pretty well through builds, but I wouldn't say it's quite as good with builds as the other one is. I actually prefer it for that, but uh, still pretty good. Killed him. There we go. There's a kill. I think there's another guy, right? Yeah. So the battle buses, the drivable battle buses are actually back in the form of the war bus. Now this thing, if you sh if you honk the horn, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to disable my car, it'll shoot out an EMP which disables anything around you. It's much more powerful this season. Definitely try and find it. It spawns randomly around the map with some NPCs you gotta kill. Definitely try and find it, and um, it'll give you a huge advantage over other players. Over here, this is a part of the new Fallout collab, a Nuka-Cola consumable is now in the game. It gives you health instantly and then, sh and then charges your shield over time. So it's pretty useful. It's kind of like the new, uh, the new Slurp Juice. So I definitely consider picking it up over medkit minis and stuff but you can only carry two at a time, so remember that. There's a few flaws with it, but it is pretty good. As you can see here, the Enforcer AR is back. I don't think anybody's really all that excited about that, but they decided, hey, why not bring one of the worst ARs in the game? I'm actually going to do something very dumb and I'm going to ditch the car. I am going to try and kill this guy with the new Nitro Fists. So boost up, over, 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 and now I'm almost in circle. So the recharge on these things pretty quick. It takes about 10 seconds or so. Maybe seven seconds to fully recharge these things. Don't know where he went. Hopefully I can find him. Found him. Right there. I'm gonna let these recharge a little bit. Or I go right down. 
and try to And he died to storm. I hit him once and he died to storm. Okay. As I said, the combat shotgun is back. I didn't get time to use it last game, but I want to show you guys what it is like before the video ends. So here you go. 102 headshot from that close. Pretty good. I think I'd use it more because the fire rate's pretty good. Your screen shakes a little when you shoot it, by the way. But, uh, eh, no problem. There's uh, another kill with it. As you can see, combat shotgun's pretty good. I like it. So what I'm about to show you will be patched at some point in the near future. I guarantee it. But if you come over to one of these circles here, these things, the boosters, pop a flowberry fizz near it. Get a little heal and, you know, get the, uh, get the little gravity effect. Jump through it and see what happens. You go flying with it. Now, I didn't get to sh go as far as I thought I would with that one. So, I'll try again over here just to show how good it is. Because I landed in the water, of course. So come over here. Go through this thing. Jump. Jump. So, we just went 275 meters in less than 10 seconds. I'm sure it'll be patched soon, but, uh, Use it as well as you can in the small time that you have. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about Season 3 in the comments. Me personally, I think it's amazing. I cannot wait to see what the future of this season holds. And I can't wait to see the future of Fortnite in 2024. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.